Hi, it's Stella from Ipling University, and this is Stella Short and Sweet for Fort from Little Games. Be the coolest kid on the block. Have lots of friends, pizzas, toys, and build the coolest fort. The game plays two to four players with mechanics such as deck building, engine building, and resource management. The game is of light to medium complexity. In Fort, players are kids who try to manage their decks, getting resources, building up their fort strength, engine build to gain the most points. On the play stand, they play a card, possibly boosting it with other cards of the same suit from their hand or their permanent lookout plays and resolve the top and bottom actions. Everyone else can follow the top action by discarding the same suit from their hands. Then the cards played move to the discard pile and the unused cards from player's hand goes to the player's yard area. The player then can recruit or gain card from common area or opponent's yard area into their discard pile, then draw back to 5 cards. The next player clockwise does the same. Actions in the game are dictated by cards' actions, like getting toys and pizza onto the stuff or backpack area, increasing the fort level by paying the resource requirements, or tucking cards away to lookout area. Building forts is an important part of the game, as players can get end-of-game objective cards, rule-breaking cards, more capacity to carry items in backpack or cards in the lookout, and points at the end of the game. The game continues until one player reaches at least 25 points, or one player reaches their maximum fort, or there are no more action cards in the face-down pile. Player with the most points wins. Expect Thinky Game via Little Games, the maker of Root and Fast and Oath, and expect one word title. Game comes in a small box, nice double layered boards, nice components. Rules are not complex, but there are a few dimensions to the strategy for sure. Game is a re-implementation from SPUQF, which is a game about building ancient civilization, also by same designer Grant Rodiak. Ford has the cute artwork from Carl Ferrin, also of Brute and Oath and Fast. I always enjoy deck building, combined with lead and follow action, with the combination of actions you can do, makes no two games are the same. You can, let's say, specializing in collecting shuffle suit, but then you need to be able to follow opponents using different suit, as some of the actions you can follow is quite powerful. You can try to collect the same suit under your lookout to make certain future actions more powerful, combined with actions that let you score points per card in the lookout, but does that limit your actions? So many possibilities. The end game objectives give you extra scoring options, like points for certain action cards you have. The pair cards give you rule breaking opportunities, like doing the same face twice. I think Ford is highly replayable and can be played with a little or more strategy and suits different level of gamers. So thanks for watching folks. If you have any questions for me, please write in the comment sections below. You would help us by subscribing to Meeple University and hit the bell so you won't miss anything from us. I also share my board games journey on Instagram, so hopefully I'll see you there too. See you in my next video.